we're the underdogs this week, and it's pretty much we've been the underdog all season. No one's expected much from us after a week four, and everyone saw our offense wasn't the same. But somehow our defense never got the credit that it deserved. But nonetheless, we're playing against number one seed this weekend. Ravens, number one scoring defense, we're number two. Uh, number one in sacks, we're number two. Um, the Ravens are also number six in yards allowed. I believe we're number two as well. I think we're number six across the board. Um, they have the league lead in takeaways with 31, 18 INTs, 13 fumbles. Uh, they're number two in red zone efficiency on stopping teams, which is a which is a pretty interesting one because that's something we've had trouble with. Mm-hmm. Um, offensively, they're sixth in total yards. They're number one in rush yards, fourth highest scoring offense, and the sixth highest red zone efficiency on offense. So they're good stopping teams in the red zone, and they're good scoring in the red zone. So that's interesting. So all this to say, this is a pretty damn good football team. This is the number one seed in the AFC for a reason yeah. um, on both sides of the ball. And, mm-hmm. J.D., looking at all these experts who are making their picks, the same experts who picked Bills against us, some of the experts who picked the Dolphins against us, pretty much a majority of the expert picks out there are picking Baltimore against us. Sure. Now, we're going to get into the strengths of how we can stop them uh, this uh, this weekend. But I want to know, what do you think is a weakness that we have that they can exploit that you're worried about? This weekend that you're that you're kind of concerned about because for me just looking at what we saw last week I'm looking at ru- the rush yards that what we gave up the bolt uh, the Buffalo and mm-hmm. we're playing against a team that's the best rushing offense in the league and that's where I, I'm I'm most scared about because I think that's where we're most vulnerable in this weekend. What are you most worried about, whether it be offensively or defensively against uh, Baltimore? Uh, I, I think uh, that would be probably my. Uh... My concern as well is really, uh, you know, stopping the run. And, you know, a lot of the yards came last week with uh, Josh Allen. Uh, and then, of course, this this past year, we've we've had a, you know, a couple up and down with guys uh, running the football. But the difference in this game and the, 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 the Bills game, uh, to me, is, you know, you got to stop Lamar. Not to mention, you know, you got to, you know, Edwards and those guys back there, they do a good job running the football. Uh, what's going to what's going to negate all of those things? It's pressure. It's bringing guys. It's shooting the gaps. It's, it's making sure that your 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 gout your gap sense you know sound and what you're doing. Okay. Um, if everybody plays a solid game, um, then you bottle guys up. That's the only thing about it. Like if Lamar starts taking off on you, start making plays with his legs, that's where it becomes dangerous, right? That's that's always like if you have a quarterback that can run, that's something that you can never account for, all right? It's always a dangerous thing. And so Josh Allen was another one that's hard to bring down last week. Uh, he's, you know, we're sitting back in coverage, and he just takes off running because we're, we're, we're rushing for him. Uh, but if, if, if Spags starts bringing guys from different areas and, and what end up happening with, but I'll start seeing um, the, the Houston, the Texans doing, they were coming after them at the very beginning. And just kind of, you know, they, they made an adjustment and, and it all changed. But uh, you, you got to bring pressure. You, you got you to gotta make sure you shoot the linebackers up. The guys up front have to be absolutely stellar in what they do. And we said that before. Um, the, the last game, it didn't happen. But like I said, we only brought four guys. Um, Chris Jones is going to need some help. We're going to need uh, Charles Benahu. We're going to need uh, uh, Kolofkis. We're going to need uh, Warrington, uh, everybody to show up. You know, Dickerson and Pinnell, we, we need guys to show up on a defensive line and let our, our linebackers run because we got a good linebacker core. Hopefully, Willie Gay is back. It's going to help out too, uh, just in case we had to bring a spy with, uh, with Lamar, which I'm sure we, we could do. But also, too, I said, hey, maybe we'll bring uh, a DB in. To, to spy Lamar, I think, you know, that that you need a fast guy, somebody, a fast twitch guy that can run him down, okay, that can mirror what he does, uh, which could help negate him. Our coverage, that's what I love about us. Our strength is our coverage, is our secondary. Uh, not necessarily the Texans and all the other teams that they have played. Our strength are guys in the back end, and that's Sneed, that is McDuffie. Uh, that is, obviously, we, we talked about Reed. Uh, 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 Connor, if he if he's out there, or Mike Edwards, if he gets back, and so you know we we understand there's some injuries, but we have guys back there that can cover. And so if we need to bring a duty in for the nickel, if we bring a safety extra guy down into the paint to cover those things, we can do that. We we can do the things one on one. 
but that's 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 just some of the things twist uh some of the stunts that you can do uh but n- without a doubt man the guys up front's got to have a good game they just have to have a good game the game is one of the trenches that is that's the key the game is one of the trenches but i will say and i know we're talking about just the, you know defenses how we stop them offensively we got to do the same thing we're gonna run the football with pacheco right we got one of the premier backs in the league and he's been getting crazy uh, the past two games, and we love it, and we need to get the ball to him because our offense runs through Pacheco. So, yeah, and, and looking at their numbers, um, because I, you know, sometimes it, it's always interesting to look at the um, the discourse on Twitter, right? Yeah, some of the stuff is just like ridiculous, but then when you look at like these next gen stat tweets and you see all these Ravens like uh, fans posting these uh, stats and stuff, yeah, it was interesting, you know, like obviously they're the number one team for a reason, obviously, their takeaways. They have the highest uh, plus minus as far as a turnover differential this year, plus 12 in that. And, and the crazy thing is, if you look at our turnover differential, we're, we're at the bottom of the league in that. Like, we're with teams that didn't even make the playoffs. There were teams that were, like, uh, top 10 picks with our turnover differential, which is so crazy for a team that's such a good uh, had such a good defense this year. Um, and that's something, obviously, we're going to have to get better at. And, you know, these are young guys still. Um, that's something we're going to have to get better at going forward next year. But looking at their red zone efficiency defensively, I mean, what the allowing teams that I mean what was the red zone efficiency uh, number two in, on stopping teams, and that's and that's already a problem that we have. So mm-hmm. I, knowing that they are already good with that, it's like, oh man, like I mean, that's does that does that scare you a bit when you when you hear about their red zone efficiency as far as that <laughs> stopping teams? Scare is not a good word to use with me at all. You know, I, I don't not really scared of of, of much of anything. Uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it's things that I don't like heights, but I don't think we had to deal with heights. And so, uh, it, to me, um, it, it's going to be a, incumbent upon any of those to call some good plays. Okay. Um, and, and then, like I said, I, I think we had to run the ball with Pacheco to open some things up. Uh, we do a good job as far as uh, playing with guys eyes motion and, 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 and putting guys in, in, in matchup uh, 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 borders. So that that would be our thing, you, you know, and, and maybe, you know, this game, they don't they don't do that. OK, I understand their turnover the rent, the rent, the rent. OK, I can't even say the word. Shoot. But the turnovers, OK, we we just had to protect the football. OK, we had two unfortunate fumbles last week uh, uh, running down actually in the red zone. OK. One was the uh, like the jet sweep in a reverse, or you know the, the pass to McCole Harmon. Uh, hopefully, we we are more selective in the plays that we run down there. Okay, we got to trust the guys up front to make plays for us, and it's all about matchups. I take matchups with Travis Kelsey and Rasheed Rice all day with anybody out there. So that's what you got to do. And at that moment in the red zone, you got to think about players and not plays. It's players and not plays. So the player would be Pacheco, without a doubt, Travis Kelsey, Rasheed Rice, and PM15 getting on the football. So uh, that's what it is. And if we do that and everybody up front get a hat on a hat, man, we should be good. We should be good. You just got to will yourself. When you get down there in the red zone, it's all about will. I get, you know, you start going through and, and you hear how good teams are, right? Well, they're good against, you know, certain teams. When I'm looking at, you know, who they weren't necessarily good at, who who put a whole lot of points up against them, so they can be scored on. They ain't, shoot, I, I, I've looked. There's a whole lot of people that got thirty some points on them, you know, all all during the year. So when I'm looking at the stats, they can be scored on. They really can. So I'm I'm not really worried about that at all, uh, and and I, I don't think we should be worried about it as much. Uh, any of those guys, they understand that. They they understand what they need to do to get things done. Uh, but like I said, it, it it do have to be selective in what you're calling down there in the red zone for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they study the heck out of that 17 to 10 loss. Not not the second loss they had against the Pittsburgh because they didn't play their starters. That first loss they had against Pittsburgh where they lost 17 to 10. I mean, obviously you know this. They're looking. Our guys are studying all the game tape all throughout the year. What te- what teams did, what teams that, that what they didn't do against them, especially specifically the, te- the games they lost. So I'm curious to see what what that is. Um, what, what we can kind of take away from some of the losses they had this year. Because I mean, 
that's a, that was the one thing about this year. No one was a world beater. This is a team that lost to the Colts, who didn't make the playoffs. This is a team who lost to the Steelers, um, and there's a team who lost to uh, the Browns as well. I mean, so like, you know, so. No, but just to go back to the question, are you more concerned with their offense or defense? Uh, I, I, offense. Offense because, obviously, like I said, there's the element of running with the football, and that's what – Lamar gives you. I mean, he's just so fast. He can get on the corner quickly. Uh, also, he can make guys miss. So you you definitely got to be able to bottle a guy up. You know, they're bringing an extra lineman in. You know, like I said, Gus Edwards. I mean, shoot, I forgot they got Dalvin Cook, okay, yeah. that they got to run with. Justice Hill does a good job. I mean, so they, they got weapons that can run the football. Uh, and then they got receivers. And, they you know, they talking about maybe having Mark Andrews back. I don't know. I haven't really checked out on everything yet. You know, because, you know, it's kind of early on Wednesday, but we'll see exactly what's going to be. But likely he's done a good job catching footballs in the red zone. Um, so it, it, that that's one thing you have to do. You got to be able to stop the Ravens. You got to stop Lamar Jackson from doing what he does best. OK, and that's running with the football. Yeah, no, and, and all the running backs. I mean, Gus Edwards is a really it has a defined role of being that that that, that smash rep the middle for them. Uh, Justice Hill is a great receiver out of the backfield. And yeah, yeah, you throw in Dalvin Cook, and this is all without J.K. Dobbins, their guy who was supposed to be their their guy going into the season. You know, so yeah. like, yeah, yeah, that's it's gonna be interesting to see. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.